it was very hectic but then it was like always it was a good experience uh, it teaches you about learning to cope with uh, a lot of pressures By the end of the day, especially some of the days that you'd have a whole day's lecture, I was feeling like I'm broken into pieces, so it was not easy. Yeah, straining through the whole day and still you had assignments. Well, uh, for the last few days I have, I mean, like uh, more than five or six assignments, but uh, huge ones, and with the examination, with, uh, with two exams. Because it's my first um, like uni exams, I'm not quite sure how to cope with it. And but then now I know what to expect out of um, uni exams. And yeah, so I had three exams, and two of them I feel like I like I walked in there, saw the questions, knew what I was talking about, thanks to study and my lecturer's help and my tutor's help and all that. You know, when 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 uh, when you are uh, put under a lot of pressure, then you start feeling, what am I going to do? You start feeling so lost, and then you start, then you you have to calm yourself. You have to say it's okay. reflections and real experiences. My story on how I, how difficult it was and how I managed to move on, you know, how I managed to get through. They, it should inspire them and feel that, okay, she did it, why can't we? The end of last semester was, um, yeah, we were all up in arms in a bit of a rush. Assignments were falling due um, you know, for our first experience of uni. It was very exciting because um, I, I completed my first semester very, uh, you can say, in a very relaxed mode because I divided everything systematically that uh, I set deadlines for myself and I was doing accordingly. So it was not very hectic and uh, very stressful. Um. Big rush to finish all the last assignments and study up for exams. It's a pretty intense time. But, um, yeah, you sort of get a bit disconnected from people as well because everyone's sort of concentrating on, on what they're doing with their schoolwork and stuff. It's fine though because everyone understands. It's not like you're ignoring people. Uh, now I'm, fe uh, I'm feeling really happy to talk about that time, but it was really tough time. I mean, in the end of uh, the first semester, I was very busy with the exams, assignments, and uh, some laboratory work. But yeah, in the end, it turned out really good. It was, it was good, although now there was a lot of assignments, preparation for exams, and all that. Yeah, it was quite hectic, <laughs> no jokes. And um, I should say it was... It, like the semester was, it was so hectic, you know, that uh, the three month period was the most uh, busy period. Uh, it's like you have to submit assignments and sometimes the due dates of uh, about two assignments came together in the same week and it was, and it's not about writing 100 or 200 words. Like it's about, you know how it is, right? Uh, it's about writing about 5,000 words. Um, I had one assignment due just before like exams started. And then I had three exams. So yeah. Um, I had a, I think a 2000 word essay and um, an accounting assignment where we pretended to do the books for a toy retailer. Um, and they went reasonably well. Um, um, I was pretty lucky. I had a few friends who had assignments due in that same week, but all my assignments finished a couple of weeks before so I could just really focus on my exams. Yeah, we do have. All the assignments were, uh, we, ha we had to submit, uh, submit at the end of the semester. But uh, the good thing was that uh, we were planning from the first day for those assignments. And um, thanks to our teachers as well because uh, they were um, 
uh, guiding us from the first day towards that assignment, so everything went very well. And there was a lot to, that was required of us, and time was limited. In the last about three weeks, I think I had, I had four assignments, one for each unit. One of them was really big because I didn't have an exam for that unit, so it was worth like 40%, I think. I did, you know, in all honesty, I, I do get stressed, we all do, but I just found ways to manage it in terms of going out and going for a run or doing a bit of exercise, um, taking time out, then heading back into it with a fresh mind. It was a health crisis, okay, because I remember you could not even concentrate in class. I was always feeling like sleeping, sleeping. Yeah, I asked the doctor and, uh, okay, I did some lab tests, I did some because the problem was the thyroid swelling. They saw some swelling in the thyroid. So probably that was what was affecting. And um, uh, as, uh, as you know, it, uh, the last month, I mean, it was a fasting, fasting month for Muslims. It was Ramadan. And I was basically fasting, uh, you know, the whole month. And besides that, I was doing an intensive course, intensive unit, and, you know, studying all day without food and, you know, <laughs> sleepless night. So it was hard, but uh, I enjoyed it, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, when I study, I divide this time. I don't sit down and study throughout, like I, I, I study for 30 minutes, take a little break, and then again, and study, and that really helps. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. At, at the end, by the end of the semester, I'd sort of figured out the, the rhythm of, of studying for assignments and getting them done, so you get like your initial draft done a couple of weeks prior, and then you sort of build up from that until like you've got a week left and you've finished it, but you're going to keep rereading it and editing it and stuff. So yeah, I, I did, it was a lot easier than the first few assignments in terms of like time management, but it was a lot harder subject, like stuff to write. As a Buddhist, uh, I keep doing meditation every morning. No, and then I should say that meditation really helps you to cope up with pressure, academic, be it academic pressure, be it any kind of stress, I try to tame my mind, I try to keep calm, I'm not always successful in that, but it really helps. Um, my typical day was spent, I suppose, you know, summarising chapters, um, doing a bit of extra reading, um, practice questions, which I could have done more of, you know, in retrospect. I wouldn't use the word day because I slept through most of the day at that point. Um, it's usually I wake up about 2 p.m., um, probably have, I don't know, some cereal or something that I, that I had at home, and then just stay in my room studying and working on my assignments until maybe midnight, at which point I'd hit up a couple of friends and we'd walk down to the Celtics. So this is at the college. Um, and we'd grab like a sausage roll or something and then walk back in. Don't bother hanging out because we know we've all got studies. We just say our goodbyes, go back, keep studying, maybe procrastinate a bit, watch a few TV shows or something. And then in the morning, well, when it was morning, which was sort of like night for me, um, you go and have the breakfast at the, at the dining hall, which is like eggs and bacon and stuff. So it's kind of dinner as well. Um, I mostly studied at home, which is Trinity for me. And they did a really good setup where the dining hall area is. They set up an actual study room. And so everyone could just go there and just silence and you could be able to really focus. Rather be stat, um, trapped in a small room and having to, being surrounded by four walls and just in the dark having to keep reading a textbook or typing up notes. Uh, most of the time uh, at my place, because I live alone, so, uh, and I have internet facility at my home, at my place, so it's uh, most of the time I study at my home. But yeah, I use, uh, I, I utilize uh, libraries too. Most of the time read library or science library, yeah. Staying at home was, would have been a lot of stress. So the best time was to stay around where you could even discuss with friends how do you talk all this because some are like mathematics. So you couldn't afford to stay at home. That, it was very interesting, you know, the test because back home we have textbooks, we read from the textbooks, we mug up, we spend our time. Because academic culture is so different back home and the academic culture here is so different, uh, the exam period, the exam, the, that phase was very interesting, you know, because I didn't know like, uh, what should I study? Should I go online and study the old material or should I just refer to my notes? 
and then I started wondering whether, okay, did I take all the notes I am supposed to take? Uh, I don't think I prepared for it properly. Like, like I didn't make like review notes for my lecture notes all semester. So um, I started cramming and there were lots of late nights. Um, most, I was mostly studied during the day. I just felt it was way easier to focus. So I'd get up pro seven, have brekkie, and then try and do a couple of good hours, have a break, another couple of hours, and then knock off around dinner time. Um, me and my friends decided we'd study together in the science library. So we'd get together and we'd review everything and we'd type notes and talk about it and what didn't we understand and we'd discuss it with everyone. So yeah. Oh, I was I was really happy with my exam timetables because it was um, it was spaced out and it was all in the evening uh, sorry in the afternoon and I was happy because I got more time to study in the morning. It was quite daunting going into Winthrop Hall and having sitting there with 500 other people feeling exactly the same as you were and having 10 examiners all watching you so it was a bit daunting but in the end it's just you're in your own space so you just focus on your own work and get through it. Mm -hmm. Nothing could really prepare us, um, you know, psychologically for it, for the, I suppose if you're in Winthrop Hall, it's quite a menacing, um, but also grand setting. Um, and you're sitting there for three and a half hours, you know, writing your exam. And there were just so many students and everyone's just so concentrating. It, it, it reminded me of high school exams, but in a way that you feel like everyone doesn't hate where they are. <laughs> everyone's sort of like, they, they, they want to get through it, they're passionate about it, and you can just sort of tell that everyone's really interested in what they're writing about, so yeah. It was it's actually quite interesting because it's a, um, it was in different places, and you get to meet like different people and like ask them about the experience as well. And one of, like my favorite exam was the first one, that was the linguistic exam. I wasn't prepared for that one, but then I just, I wanted to defer for that exam, but then I just did it anyway. And I was really proud when I finished the exam. I was like, that was, that was all right. Um, I had chemistry and I wasn't prepared for that at all. It was so hard. It was like death. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have no idea how I passed it. I don't know, but... Um, and then I had math. That was, that was really good. It, it was really easy and that was my only easy exam. <laughs> And all, and then when the when we sat for the exam, it was so funny. Like we were asked to write one thousand five hundred in one hour. We were right to we were made to write a book review, and uh, it was very interesting. You know, I I tried to write so fast, and I just managed to write about five hundred <laughs> words, and it was very interesting. Uh, it was really different from my previous uh, previous ba I mean background, but uh, I think uh, they really know. I mean uh, UWA basically. I mean they really know what they what they expect from the students and what they want to know. Uh, I mean I, I'm really happy with the examination and you know assignments. They, uh, this is basically they forced you to think think about the topics, think, think, think what, what you are doing. You are not doing anything randomly, I mean, like memorizing things and producing in the paper, it's not like that. I mean, most of the coordinators, they exactly know what they want you to, you know, to learn and, you know, uh, and, and, and your response basically in the examination. So I'm very, very much satisfied with the examination system, yeah. Tired, <laughs> probably. I mean, very excited. We did go out for like the next three nights partying, but every other moment I was asleep. Um, I was like, it's over. And I was like, I'm really stressed. <laughs> Cause like I was stressed for about a week that I wouldn't pass. So. And then I was just like, whatever, I don't care. Definitely not as stressed as waste exams were, but at some points I felt a little bit stressed, but overall just had the focus down and yeah, it all worked out. Well, you, you, you feel relieved that you finished exams, but then you feel nervous because you're waiting for results. So it's sort of that period where you're like, oh. <laughs> I had the email there and I didn't realise our results would be in that email. I thought, you know, I could procrastinate clicking that special link, like with my waste results. But they were there and I was really happy with them. I kind of, you know, missed the shock period. 
Um, yeah, I got an email and then I checked Student Connect and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Um, like, despite my hardship and struggles, I managed to do it really well. So. It was simply just emailed to us and I was quite happy with my results and like a few distinctions. So I'm like, yeah, I'm quite pleased with these. I was just checking my mail as always and then I... I saw, saw my results and I was so excited, you know, I was like, I was telling my husband and he was like, okay, you just got, you just, you just managed to got D and not HD. And then I was like telling him, I think it's okay for me as of now, I managed to get through and that's more than enough. I think two weeks, two weeks, what, I, I think it was, I don't remember, but um, UWA students and like, and if, Facebook thing saying that it would be on a Friday night and they sent it at like 8 and I saw the email notification I was just like <gasps> and then I clicked on it I saw it fast I was just like I'm so happy I think I ran around my house or something I don't I don't know what I did we had, yeah we got an email from I was I was in Denmark at the time working with a friend and we both got the email at the same time we just looked at each other and we're like this is it <laughs> So we, we had a look and yeah, well, I mean, it was good. I, I passed everything and that was really good. Well, they were proud of me. I, I told them, oh, I got um, two HDs and one D for psychology. And then my mom was like, why is it just D for psychology? I was like, it's good enough. Asian parents. Uh, I was feeling great, good, but um, because of one subject only, I was feeling a bit disappointed because I was not expecting um, credit in that though I got credit in that and uh, uh, and I went to the teacher and I really asked that what was really wrong with my paper because I was not expecting this and he, he talked about my paper and I came to know that uh, there are there were some flaws because of that um, I lose some marks really good I mean um, only one unit is not that good I mean it's not up to my expectation but all other three went really good and I'm, I'm really happy I got this uh, distinctions so that's nice yeah uh, it was not encouraging but uh, the same life has to continue <laughs> regardless uh, I, I scored good marks in both the exams and I was like uh, I'm satisfied with what I managed to achieve um, you know, I did, you know, surprisingly well, considering how nervous I was. My results, I mean, I got, now I got all the results of my, you know, uh, f f first semester. And results are really encouraging, so I'm very happy. But at that time, I mean, it, it was uh, a bit tight, a uh, bit hard time. Uh, Sometime I was feeling like might be, uh, I am an international student over here. And my English and my grammar might not be uh, that much good, and it might be uh, because of that I might be losing marks. I was not surprised because, okay, at the moment when I was doing, especially some of the units, I was not feeling well, so I didn't expect anything good. Yeah, so I didn't, it was not a surprise, although still it was a bit stressing because now that you have an impact. Yeah, on what follows. And I was hoping that my teachers uh, might be understanding this factor of mine, but uh, it was not like that because there are marks for grammar and everything. So I, I obviously uh, had to lose some marks on that. And uh, when I was getting my feedback, I was uh, feeling great as well because um, the feedback was very good. So that was an encouraging um, point for me. Because I'm a journalist, I'm so used to writing short sentences, you know, short sentences. And then one of the main feedback I got back from my um, lecturers here, they always uh, commented on my short paragraph and my referencing style. So I think I'll improve on that. I'll definitely try to do and I will try to get HD if possible. Uh, that's my aim. If I can, I'll do it. over the moon. I was so relieved. So yeah, definitely a bit of celebrating afterwards, which was good fun amongst friends. So, yeah, really enjoyed that part. Oh, we were, well, my boyfriend and I finished our exams together and we were like leaping and bounding across Oak Lawn. It was, it was really euphoric feeling. Um, not only finishing exams, but finishing my first semester and 
you know, coming out on top, I suppose. I slept a lot. It's a normal. <laughs> I slept. I, um, about halfway through, I decided, like, I was just like, what am I doing with my life? What? <laughs> um, and I started applying for jobs, but no one's hired me yet. I'm really sad. <laughs> I went back to Indonesia, to my hometown, and got together with a family and my old friends and um, went traveling with, I took four friends from um, Perth. So we went to Bali, to Jogja, and then I took them to my hometown. So it was a really good um, trip. And yeah, I just needed that well, like one month break because I haven't been back to my country for two years. I was like, yeah, it's, it's time for me to go back. Um, no, I just went home to Karafa which is a bit different for me because no one else, I have friends up there, but it's not really a popular town for people to come visit. So I didn't see many of my Trinity friends, but it gave me time to work. So I did quite a bit of work up there and just caught up with family. And I planned those holidays to visit my sister who is in Sydney. And I went there and uh, I also went to see some of my friends who are in Melbourne. So, and I went to Canberra as well. So I planned my um, holidays accordingly. Uh, it was a great relief. Yeah, it's just like how somebody gets out of the hospital, you feel at least you are free. Unlike where you are just confined in a bed, but then you are told do this, do this, turn this, turn this. At least I felt that uh, it was a bit of a relief. You know, you won't believe I was like, I was telling my husband, this is the best time of my life in Australia, you know. I feel so relaxed. I, I made plans, like, uh, when I was busy with my assignments and all, I couldn't give much attention to my daughter. You know, she's just three years old and she needs my love and care, but then I couldn't give my attention because I thought that my studies are equally important. I have come all this way to study and if I don't get good grades, it, it doesn't make sense, you know. It doesn't do justice to the scholarship I got. It doesn't justice, do justice to myself as a person. And that's why I try to balance out and then I, tried, I really try to study. And then I made this plan the moment I finished my exam and assignments and everything. The moment the semester, that first semester came to an, comes to an end, I'm going to just relax, watch movies with my daughter, you know, cook for her. And I did what I planned and it was, it was, it was so nice. But I did definitely see a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a long time. I saw my um, high school science teacher and I told him about what I was doing and he was really like proud that he influenced me and stuff like that, so yeah, that's really cool. During the break, no, I, was, I didn't want to study. I wanted to breathe at least <laughs> after the semester. Uh, it's, um, I was hoping that it, yeah, I will be free, but um, just after, you know, first semester, I had another intensive unit for the, for the winter break. So that's, uh, that was again, you know, two weeks intensive course. So, well, really, I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't get free time, actually. <laughs> and I, as I told you, it was, uh, it was month of Ramadan. So I was hoping that I will have some free time in the end of Ramadan uh, and on Eid. Eid is a big day for, for, for Muslim, but uh, even for Eid, Eid uh, on Eid day, I was preparing for assignment. <laughs> so, yeah, so technically, I didn't have free time. <laughs> I was still, I also didn't want to travel and make myself exhausted, but I had a friend who visited me from Sydney, so you are going around, rest, relaxing? Um, well, I have a mixed feeling for intensive unit. Intensive units are good, but I mean, I don't understand how can you condense it like four weeks or five weeks or seven weeks course into just two weeks. I mean, it is just like, sometimes I feel it is just like, you know, uh, someone is firing on you and, you know, just taking something, throwing, a, you know, many things to, uh, towards you. So I have mixed feeling for, for intensive units here. Um, yeah, I, I won't say it's, it's really good. For some students, maybe it's good. But for new students, I think intensive units are not that, that beneficial. And I was comparing Melbourne, Canberra and Sydney with uh, Perth as well. And I was uh, revisiting my decision of either I made this decision right or not <laughs> to study in UWA or not. And then I found my campus very beautiful than other universities. So I was feeling great. No, my decision was right. <laughs>